So today I thought we'd give you a little update on the greenhouse. So today is an incredibly windy, windy day. In fact, um, we have a high wind warning out and we have wind gusts up to 60 miles an hour possibly. So I've been a little concerned about the greenhouse and whether or not it'll hold up in this strong wind. In fact, last night Michael and I were debating on whether we should pull the stock trailer around here, um, just right over that way to kind of give it a little bit of wind break. But then we got to thinking, well, the direction of the wind is coming from that way and the back of the barn is more in jeopardy than the greenhouse is so we backed the trailer around there to block the wind because um, we still haven't gotten that side of the barn fixed and we don't want any more of the siding to be blown off so anyway um, I'd have to say the greenhouse is holding up nicely in fact when the big gusts of wind comes it just barely shakes it so um, I'm pretty happy about that. Whew, getting dripped on. <laughs> anyway, I wasn't quite sure if the rebar that we put in would be quite long enough to hold it if there was huge wind gusts. But so far, so good. That looks so cute. Oh, that is cute. So the fairies can cross our walkway over to this side. Yeah. I really like that. So anyway, it's been quite an adventure with this greenhouse so far. Um, it was an Easter... Ooh. Ah! Now that Stop gust me. of wind kind of lifted this board right here. But anyway, um, let's see, what was I going to say? Uh, early Easter morning it got really 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 cold and um, it got below freezing actually and um, while the greenhouse is pretty well built and everything there was some parts of it that, that we didn't get really um, what do you want to call it insulated very well like for example um, right here along this where the windows at there was like a bit there's a big gap right there and we didn't have anything there and so the, the cold air could get in there and it was pretty windy and then right here along the sides there's some pretty big gaps and so it ended up kind of getting pretty cold in the greenhouse over not, over that night and so then Easter afternoon I decided to come out here and get the holes kind of patched up a little bit so this right here is what I came up with. This goes on a door. It has a sticky side on it and you put it on the door to kind of like stop the drafts. And so what I did is I just screwed it on around the edges. And then if you undo the window, it, it can still slide pretty easy. But it kind of creates a little bit of a good seal right there. And then on the door, we didn't either get it cut quite right or the boards were warped, one or the other, but it doesn't quite fit very well. And like right up here, there was a huge gap. So what we did is we just took a two by four and we put it up right up there. So that way it kind of just blocks the wind from coming in here. And we took it just a couple of pieces of the, this door seal stuff and um, kind of put it right here in the corner like that so that way when you pull it shut it kind of creates a, a seal right there and then I also put some more of it down the side right here to kind of keep it from the wind from blowing in and I also did the same thing on this side as you can see right here this one had a pretty big gap right there 
I still need to get just a little more of it to put right along here but um, I might have to wait till this fall to do that because I don't think the stores have it on the shelves right now. Since I've done that the greenhouse is sealed up very nicely and um, it stayed a lot warmer in here. So anyway Easter day was very cold and Miley had gotten some fairy garden stuff and so the kids were in and out of the greenhouse all day because she was setting that up and then on top of that I was um, fixing the doors and you know all the gaps so the greenhouse got cooled down a lot just from the door being open and shut so many times and so then Easter night it was very very cold and it actually froze and I didn't really think about it but I didn't take some of the plants out and so they kind of got a little bit nipped by the coldness see like right here my poor little lemon tree I don't know if it's gonna make it or not this one looks like it's in a little bit better shape, but I still don't know. It's probably not going to make it, unfortunately. And my flower got it kind of bad. Yep. Now there was like a huge gap right down there in the door, and then the wind was blowing in, so it this flower right here really got it. And of course I forgot to take in my trees. And so they're kind of showing signs of being a little on the cold side too, but hopefully they'll pull through. So anyway, the radishes are up. And so far, I think that's about all that's come up. I really do hope that some more things come up than just that. I got this little bridge right here and the very crossing sign. And then this little flower. And I got the snail road and fairyland sign. And then I got the little fairy right there. That got that. And then over here, there's a little bird house. And I bought this little rabbit. I saw a little bug crawling on it. <laughs> and there's a house in the well fence. It's hot in here. It is hot in here. I can't wait until summer feels like this. Neither can I. <laughs> it's 80 degrees in here right now. So anyway, that's about all there is for today. We can't really do a lot because of all that wind. I just cannot wait for spring to get here, for the weather to be nice, so that way we can get some stuff done. Yep. So anyway, we are going to go in the house and finish up that, some housework and call it a day.